Hey everyone, it's Tom here with thisonlineworld.com and we're all having a fantastic day today. So in this video, I'm sharing six legit and high paying side hustles that any teenager can start. Some of the side hustles I'm gonna cover are booming right now and have massive potential for right now in 2024 and beyond. So if you want to get ahead of the pack and start making money now, this is definitely the video for you. One of the side hustles I'm covering in this video also currently pays me over $20,000 a month. And again, there's some pretty creative side hustles in here that have a lot of potential right now that you might not have heard of. So you definitely wanna watch this one until the end. Let's get into the side hustles. All right, so starting off with my favorite side hustle for teenagers right now is to become a TikTok shop specialist. And let me explain this one because it's pretty niche, but it has massive potential. So TikTok is all the rage these days, but the platform is evolving quickly and it's not just a place to find silly dances or workout tips these days. In fact, TikTok is actually making a massive push to become more of an e-commerce platform and it's doing this in a big way. See, in September of this year, TikTok released TikTok shops, providing creators a way to creatively market their products and brands right on TikTok. And so if you use TikTok, you might've seen this feature, or maybe you're thinking, oh, this doesn't sound that interesting or that massive of an opportunity, but this is part of the future of e-commerce and it's here to stay and it's gonna be absolutely massive. I mean, online live stream shopping and live shopping is already massive in Asia. And we're likely gonna see some of these trends trickle over here in North America and the rest of the world. And like with any new industry that's popping up or new method that's coming out, being ahead of the curve and an early adopter can be very lucrative. And so this is why I like this teenager side hustle idea because there's actually quite a few options here for you to get started. So just off of the bat, you could look at growing your own TikTok theme page in a certain niche you're interested about. So you could start creating content about fitness or beauty products or fashion, travel, you know, you name it. You could pick a niche and start building an audience on TikTok by creating content in that niche. You can then launch your own TikTok shop for that page and sell products through TikTok dropshipping to your audience. You know, dropshipping really isn't a new business model. People have been doing it on platforms like Shopify forever. I even ran a dropshipping store a long, long time ago and, you know, didn't work out too well. But TikTok dropshipping is new and it's very, very cool. In fact, some creators are already making millions of dollars through TikTok shop dropshipping, according to some of the interviews going around that I've seen on the web. And this is just dropshipping. I mean, you could sell TikTok products with a print on demand model. So you work with a manufacturing partner, you upload your designs to products and you sell them through your TikTok shop. A third option for this teen side hustle would just be to freelance your services as a TikTok shop specialist. So I've already seen this actually popping up on Fiverr and Upwork, you know, people saying, hey, hire me, I can optimize your TikTok shop or I can help you set one up in the first place. So again, as a new industry, people are slowly catching on and starting to launch their shops. So lots of money on the table if you're ahead of the game. All right, and the second side hustle for teens I wanted to talk about is to become an Amazon influencer. So I'm gonna stick with the idea of e-commerce right now, because again, I think there's massive potential for 2024 and beyond. And the Amazon influencer program, like TikTok shops, is kind of new and it's really exciting. So Amazon has a new influencer program called Amazon Influencer, and it lets you promote Amazon products via your own storefront, and you then earn commissions if people purchase those products or shop on Amazon. And so it's kind of like taking the Amazon affiliate model that a lot of people are you know, familiar with from YouTube or blogging, but it's letting you actually promote Amazon products via your own storefront. And what's really cool about this program is you can promote products in a variety of ways, including live stream shopping, creating videos, or even just creating, you know, image type posts for the products you want to promote. Now, the main downside of this program is you have to have a decent social media following. So you have to have a YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok following in a niche that makes sense for Amazon. But you might see where I'm going with this just because of the first idea we talked about in this video. I mean, you could start out by creating theme pages once again on Instagram, TikTok, Talk, even starting a YouTube channel about a certain product related niche you really enjoy. I mean, this could be fashion, it could be the gym, it could be some kind of hobby you have. It's really not that hard to think, okay, what are my hobbies? What are my interests? Let me build a theme page around this. Let me create some content about this. I mean, you could even look around your house, think about the products you use and enjoy every day and start creating some content about those products and about a certain niche. So as you build this social following, you can then, you know, begin affiliate marketing on your own. You can start building up a little bit of a brand. And eventually if you get into the Amazon influencer program, you can also promote products through that store front and begin earning commissions. Now, the main downside of this method is that it's going to take some time to build these theme pages, right? That's kind of the downside of selling on TikTok or trying to get into the Amazon influencer program. But along the way, you're building this valuable asset and community in your theme pages that you can monetize in a variety of ways. So I think it's super cool, super creative, teaches teenagers some very cool digital marketing skills. So definitely recommend thinking about it. All right, guys. And the third teenager side hustle I wanted to talk about is becoming a short form video editor. And this is another idea I think is only going to continue growing and have a ton of potential, even for teenagers. So a recent study I read shows that as many as 91% of consumers want to see more online video content from brands. And so there's no denying that video content is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And 
since consumers want to see more of this and video content is effective, it means companies are going to keep spending money on, you know, creating video content so they can actually market to consumers. And this means there's a lot more money on the table for video content editors, such as yourself, potentially, to work with these brands to help them accomplish this goal. And so I've actually mentioned this idea before in one of my videos on how to make money online and some of my favorite online business ideas. And really, I think there's a ton of potential right now for these kind of boutique short form video marketing agencies. I mean, I get pitched this all the time. People email me every day saying, hey, I see your long form YouTube content. I want to make shorts for you. I want to make reels or TikToks for you. You know, there's a lot of tiny agencies popping up that kind of specialize in this like viral snappy short form content. And honestly, anyone can learn to create this kind of content. And what's really cool is you don't even have to be a professional video editor. You can actually now use AI tools that do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. For example, websites like InVideo let you turn entire scripts into short form video content. Personally, I've been using a platform called Opus Clips to turn some of my long form YouTube content into again, shorts and reels that I've started experimenting with. And you know, if I wasn't using Opus Clips, I probably would have hired someone by now to create this kind of short form content for me. So that just goes to show like there's a lot of you know, business owners or content creators out there who would probably love a helping hand with some of their short form content. Now, really the downside of this teenager side hustle is it's probably gonna take you a little bit of practice and time to land your first clients. But one really cool hook I saw recently that actually worked on me was just someone offering to give me a free short to see if I liked working with them. So again, you can use AI tools, you can reach out to content creators, you can give them some free value, and there's a chance you might end up with a client or two without that much work. All right, and the fourth teenager side hustle is a simple one, but it's effective and it works. And it is to basically sell things at school or at sporting events or local events, you know, selling things like candy or lemonade or drinks to people in your city. And you know, I find this idea funny because probably for a lot of people, a lemonade stand or something of that nature might have been your very first side hustle. But again, it's a really simple kind of side hustle, but it's proven to work. It's also pretty genius if you think about it. I mean, selling any kind of basic good to people, it's pretty high margin, takes really, really low amounts of money to start up. And there's basically no risk, so you might as well try it out. I've also seen lots of really cool success stories online about teenagers selling candy at school or selling even water bottles just, you know, at sporting events on a hot summer day. So it's again, really simple to try out. Nothing stops you from going to Walmart, buying, you know, 48 water bottles, buying a cooler, buying some ice and just hustling to make some cash on the side. And what I like about this teen side hustle is you can kind of start out with these really like cheap goods that aren't very risky to sell and eventually reinvest your profits into selling some more expensive popular items or even branching into online reselling. For example, I saw a really cool CNBC story of one teen who made almost $2 million buying things from Walmart and reselling them on Amazon over the last few years. So again, all of this is just basic retail arbitrage and basic flipping. So it's a really cool teenager side hustle. You can try it with sneakers, electronics, smartphones, but you can always start out with, you know, bottles of water or candy. You keep it simple. All right, and the fifth teenager side hustle is an online one, and it's also super simple to get started with, and it is to answer surveys for money. Now I cover survey sites all the time on this channel and on thisonlineworld.com and let me be the first to say survey sites are not going to make anyone rich and they're really not a high paying side hustle. But I wanted to mention it in this video because it's honestly the kind of side hustle any teenager can start. You don't need any skills. It's flexible so you can work when you want and it's kind of useful if maybe you want to make 20 to 60 bucks to buy a video game, buy some clothing or just buy something you've had your eye on for a while. Now personally some of my favorite survey sites that also let teenagers sign up include branded surveys, Prime Opinion, Swagbucks and prize rubble. Again, I have a lot of guides on this on in this channel, so you can search for the highest paying survey sites on my blog, you know, find some of the best ones to use. And I also have a guide on the best teen survey sites. So check that out if this is the side hustle for you. All right, guys. And the sixth and final teenager side hustle idea I want to cover is blogging. And before you roll your eyes and say, oh, blogging is just for old people or you know, blogging doesn't work anymore. I wanna share with you guys why I think blogging is awesome, how it makes me over $20,000 a month right now, and why I think it's one of the best teenager side hustles there is. So just to take a quick trip down memory lane, I started my blog back in 2020, and at the time I was finishing my degree in university, I was working in a digital marketing agency. The blog was really just a way for me to write about the different side hustles I was trying at the time, but over time the blog slowly started paying for my groceries and my rent, and in 2020 I actually decided to quit my job at the digital marketing agency, I moved to Columbia, and I just went all in on blogging and freelance writing. And so this was actually kind of the start of my whole like digital nomad kind of journey or lifestyle. And over the last few years, I've lived and worked remotely on six different continents. I've grown my blog, thisonlineworld.com into a full-time business. And it now pays over $20,000 per month through display ads and affiliate marketing. And really the reason I love this side hustle is that anyone can start a blog. You don't need to have any kind of special knowledge. You don't have to be a tech wizard. You don't need startup cash or investments. You can honestly just start with WordPress and a $50 
dollar theme and you know some cheap WordPress hosting for like five bucks a month and you're off to the races. Really all you need to start a successful blog is to be knowledgeable about a certain niche or have a willingness to learn information about that niche and to create compelling content for that niche. And again, like other online businesses, growing a successful blog doesn't happen overnight. I mean, it took me over five years to go full time with this online world.com. But if you're growing theme pages on the side or starting a YouTube channel or a podcast or doing these kind of online business things, you might as well start a blog while you're at it because you can document your journey on it and at least get started. And again, blogging is awesome because of the doors it opens. I mean, you can make money with coaching, selling your own products, affiliate marketing, display ads, sponsorships. There are so many ways to monetize a blog, even if it has a small audience. And really the main reason I think this is an amazing teenager side hustle is because of the skills you learn along the way. I mean, just from content writing and WordPress development alone, you're gonna learn a lot of valuable digital marketing skills that could end up landing you high paying jobs in the future, you know, help you get internships or just help you actually start, you know, making money online in the first place. And so again, I think blogging is awesome. It might not be the flashiest business model or side hustle out there, but if you're a teenager who likes writing or likes content creation, I definitely suggest considering it. Anyways, guys, that does it for six of my current favorite teenager side hustles. Hopefully one of the ideas in the video stands out to you or inspires you to start making money. Honestly, I think the internet's awesome. Anyone can make money these days. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, 50 years old or 15 years old, really. Like as long as you put in the effort, you stay consistent, you can make money online. Now, if there's a side hustle you're gonna try or there's one you love or suggest for other teens, I'd love if you guys could let me know down in the comments. I'm also gonna be linking my ultimate teenager side hustle guide from thisonlineworld.com down below. And that has over 75 other side hustle ideas for you guys to check out. But yeah, that's all for this one, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to check out thisonlineworld.com for more unique ways to make and save money. Catch you guys in the next one.